Hey, hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, I'll tell you what, it is tremendous to be back out here with you again taking a look at another roguelite bullet heaven. You know I love them. I know lots of you love them. This is a game called Earl vs. the Mutants, and you know what? It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. So we're going to get in our car today, and we're going to see how many mutants we can chew up out there. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Let's see if you can even survive that long. Tell Edna that after I defeat you, my next step is her funeral. Don't listen to him, Earl. That worthless sack of bones doesn't drink enough milk. Show them what we do to mutants around here. All right. We're going to try to do that, Edna. Don't you worry. So we uh, got our nice little blue vehicle here. And we've got a nice blaster up top. We've got some nitrous action. We've even got something in the lower right hand of your screen there called Edna OS. It's Edna's operating system, and we can turn it on and off. And that's what allows us to have auto attack set up. I'm going to build our defenses and our offenses and kind of switch back and forth from there. I'll tell you, defense is quite, quite important in this game. This is a more challenging bullet heaven. And I think we're actually going to go with the uncom... Well, you know, I do like the fire rate and the bullet damage. We're going to go that route this time. And like I say, we're going to switch between offensive and defensive capabilities as our run goes on. Uh, I am actually going to go with bullet pierce chance. Now, Edna is this super cool old gal and she's gonna drop some power-ups along the course of our run maybe she drops in some drone packages for us no, I'm serious Edna's into the drones you wouldn't think right speak of the devil let's go see what we can see my back aches end this boss and get back to headquarters sweetie all right uh, let's go with some additional HP. Now what's fun is slamming on the nitrous and just taking out a whole group of muties all at once. It's, it's pretty phenomenal. Isn't that nice? I can't think of too many bullet heavens that have us driving in a vehicle. All right, we're gonna go saw drones. Oh, yeah. Now the party's starting. Look at Edna. She's super appreciative. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a point into our boost strength overall. It's going to corral us along even better when we utilize it. Now, remember, we're trying to survive for 10 minutes. And because it's a shorter period of time, it's my feeling that they throw a lot more stuff at you at a faster clip than maybe a bullet heaven that goes on for 20 minutes or so. Uh, we're going to go ahead with this lead foot deal. We are getting quite speedy out there. Now, the game does sport... Uh, different types of meta progression as well and I'm gonna tell you in this game it is absolutely necessary uh, your first several runs you're gonna have a tough time you do need the meta progression okay extra bullets plus two bullets spread plus five degrees bullet damage minus 30 percent this sounds interesting I should say too that you know, as I've played more and more of this game, uh, I'm finding that it has a really nice variety of powers and capabilities. 
still seeing new ones, even after several runs. I do like that about it as well. Nice build variety, you know? Now you've probably noticed that we've got some red mutants. Kind of remind me of the serious Sam guys that run at you and explode. Bullet defense plus 20%, max boost plus 20%, and then boost gets refilled faster. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Let's do that. The explodey guys are pretty dangerous. We've also gotten to the blobs portion of the evening. Welcome to the blob portion of today's event. We're glad you're out here with us. All right, well, we are gonna be able to get to this drone in no time with all the speed hookups we've gotten. Let's grab that real quick and get some more drones going if we can <laughs> manage slamming into the crate. All right, I'm feeling the healer drones if you are. I think you are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess you are. That'll help us get some health back at times, which is going to absolutely be needed across the course of our run. You're seeing uh, the health is falling a little bit faster. Dodge chance plus 10%, but we take a little bit of a hit to max HP, which I think is fine because we bumped that at one point. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Min-maxing, right? At some point, though, we need these guys to start dropping health. There we go. See, if I just ask for it, sometimes it happens. I gotta watch out for these explodey guys. I may hold off on the nitrous a little bit. Ooh, man. Alright, I wanna grab this package of bullets over here. Explosive rounds. Hey, now we're talking. Let's do it. Okay, rapid fire. Wonderful. And let's grab this health. Yeah, you'll see that the explodey guys are tough to manage. Ooh, dang. Just hit them all right there. I like big bullets and I cannot lie. Bullet size plus 100%, bullet damage plus 25%. Yes. Okay. All right, let's go grab the health. That is apparently somewhere over here. Let's not hit all the explodey guys, though. All right. I think we blew it on the health. But that's okay. See, this is where the defensive stuff really makes a difference. All right. So, you know, we made it about the five-minute mark. I don't feel terrible about that. Let's go uh, visit the old upgrade shop. Good news, that was just a warm-up run. No big deal. So, speaking of defense and explosion defense, both of these are really important. I did put a point into the explosion defense because of those explodey runner guys. Um, I'm thinking maybe just base defense. You know, the other thing I'll say is that the upgrades are a little bit costly. Um... You know, and it takes a few rounds to uh, get to the later upgrades, but, you know, that's kind of also what you expect with these games. So let's give it another try. I do like that the game moves fast. You know, it, it is a game that kind of feels like, hey, you can just jump in, get a few runs in, if that's all you're looking for. I think this is only on Steam for right now, but I, I do think that this is a game that would play great on the Switch. All right. So, you know, maybe what we're going to do this time is lean into defensive stuff a little bit more than last time. And uh, reason being, 
is if we can survive longer, eventually we'll pick up more drone packages, right? And I'm thinking that, ooh, we got the mulcher. This one's fun. Isn't that fun? Ooh, look at this. Pickup range plus 500%. Whoa. Okay. Oh, this is going to be an interesting round, folks. All right, we're still going to go defense. One would think we are going to level up a lot. Pyro booster module. Ignite your boost trail and roast your enemies to death. I've never seen this one. Got to do it. Oh, that is awesome. All right. Okay, let's go grab some drone action. My back aches. All right. Uh, bullet defense plus 10%. Yeah. Or we do that. Yeah, we're going to go steel plating. I know it slowed us down a little bit, but that's going to be okay. I'd like to see what these laser drones do. I don't think I've had these yet either. Oh, wow. Laser drones, not messing around. Okay, dodge chance plus 15%, but we take a pretty big hit to max HP. So you know what? I'm actually looking at this because we'll get our speed back and then we get some other uh, capabilities as well. Let's do that. So some of those help me hurt me's along the way just kind of get resolved by the other upgrades. You just have to keep track of where you're at in your, your brain along the way. Uh, I do think we'll go with one offensive at this point since we've been putting a lot into defense, although I like that as well. Huh. Then we get that speed hit again. All right, we're gonna go this route. And now the explodey guys have hit the scene, looks like. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we'll go max HP. Ugh, just slip right into him. Look at this. Bumper damage plus 50% adds spikes to your wheels. I mean, I can't say no to a legendary. Just can't. Look at the spiked wheels. That's fun. Hey, if you're having a fun time and enjoying yourself, do me a favor, hit that like button. It'll help even more people see this game. Ooh, here we go. And learn about the channel. Who knows, maybe our community gets a little bit bigger. We've been growing lately, folks. I'm sure you've noticed. It lets us do even more giveaways and cool stuff out on the channel. So thank you. Thank you for all the support. All right. That said, we are back to it. I am leaning towards this. So let's do that. I want Edna to drop a weapon down for us. Sometimes she does that. Feeling like a minigun, you know, in case she's listening out there. Uh, that's what I'd like, Edna. Make it happen for us. Come on. One time. All right. Well, we've hit the special slime portion of the evening again. Advanced pyro module boost flames length plus 250%. Yes. And here's the good news, folks. If we hit dudes from far away and they die and drop some experience points, that's fine because we got that other legendary. In fact, I think that is exactly what's going on. See these things just flying in from everywhere. Lovely. So here's what we should do now since that has become even more important. 
we gotta look to increase the amount of boost that we have, but this looks pretty good here, doesn't it? Acceleration plus 10%. I don't hate this either. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna do that. And it looks like we've got some drones on the scene. Can we get to them? Probably not. No, not this time. Not this time. Next time, though. Okay. Grab a sip here. Cheers to you. Hey, you know what? All of you wrote in with all those awesome comments on my mocha pot. Look at this. Micro machine. Three legendaries this run? Holy smokes. All right. I'm into it. I'm super into it. I'll still figure out a way to run into these guys. You watch. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, max boost. We talked about that. Let's do that. And it's going to refill even faster now. So I tried the mocha pot again after all of the great comments about, hey, goat, you got to lower the temperature. It'll help with the sputtering. This went wonderfully, folks. So cheers to you. Mm-hmm. And look at this. Look at this. Max boost plus 50%. Okay, love it. And you see how far away we're able to grab the health drops from. What a time. Uh, I think we're going to go bullet defense and, and build upon that. Okay, I mean, we got through a lot of those guys mostly unscathed. I'll take it. Max HP plus 15%, defense plus 12%. We take a small hit to max speed, but I think... Ooh, you know what, though? Huh. All right, we're going to go with this. I know we got to hit the speed, but we get our boost back really fast, and we got some defense, which is great. Another hit to speed here. Bullet split chance plus 15%. Or we could start going down the road. Or we could just do a reroll, but uh, it looks like we've got to pay for that. That's okay. That's okay. Bullet burn chance. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice to see a dodge kick off as well. Okay, yeah, that's probably why you want your bullet burn for these bigger guys out here. Fire rate plus 15. Bullet defense, bullet pierce chance. I'm going to go bullet defense, especially now that we've got the sniper-looking dudes out here. Yeah. Yep, it is getting pretty wild. Critical chance plus 10%. Crit damage plus 20%. Probably worth doing at this point. So we can do a little bit more damage out there, right? Okay. And, Edna, if you want to drop those drones, uh, that would be welcomed right now. This run is going pretty good, I'd say. All right, let's grab that. Laser drone phaser module, so that'll equip our drones with uh, an upgraded laser, or we could get two grabber drones. I don't know what they're grabbing for us. Uh, I'm actually going to go with the phaser module. That sounds okay. Oh, let's see. Max speed plus 15. Acceleration 15. I think we're going to do that. More bumper damage. Not bad. Ooh, wow. Big pack. Big pack of slimes. Just drive right through all of them. Oh, that was awesome.
Uh, it's good fun driving into large groups of enemies and just, you know, kind of causing some chaos. It's, it's enjoyable, it turns out. All right, what do we got here? Bullet burn chance plus 50%. I mean, that's pretty solid, right? Uh, more fire rate would be great too, but I wish Edna would drop a different gun that maybe has some... Hey, okay, all right. Every time I ask, that's what we get, so... I'm loving it. You guys are probably like, wait, th does Goat have like a script in front of him? What, what's, what's going on right now? No, this is uh, this is happening in real time. Oh, I think we even got the minigun I was looking for. This is great. All right. Uh, we have three minutes left in the run. This is the furthest I have ever gotten in a run. Hopefully I didn't damn myself by saying that, right? I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. Bullet splash chance. Uh, you know, yes. Especially now that we're spraying the bullets everywhere. Let's let's have them splash. Why not? Why not? All right, we are cruising around town. One order of drones coming right up. Yes. Okay. Edna to the rescue. Let's grab them. Okay. Uh, looks like we got to level up first. So let's let's go with this. Ooh, three more laser drones. Now I would imagine they're going to be equipped with that uh, package that we bought. So let's grab those. They're all going to have the phasers, right? One would think. Everybody's just running around on fire. It's great. Kevlar Ballistic Armor 3. Bullet defense plus 25%. I think that might be worth doing. I don't know what this boss, if we make it to the boss, I don't know what the boss is going to be doing. I've never seen the boss. But I would imagine there are a lot of bullets happening, you know, with all the beams going on, right? That's what we could assume. Uh, we are just upgrading left and right. I'm, I'm loving this. I say we go with the explosion defense. Let's see if we can grab the... Yep! Rapid fire. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm thinking the boost tank. Let's do it. So if you're looking for something that doesn't take it too seriously, take itself too seriously, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, this is one of those games, right? It's, it's just for fun. When I drive on the road like this, you know what I get? I, I get Spy Hunter vibes. Remember that? Spy Hunter, NES. If you know, you know. Some of you know. Spent many hours in that game. Fire rate plus 15%, but we take a hit to attack, which might be, well, wait a second. Let's just do that. All right, 41 seconds and we might see a boss. Let's see if we can grab these drones. Maybe we get some more laser drones. That wouldn't be too terrible, would it? All right, let's slam right into this crate if we can. Ooh, max drones reached. All right, so let's grab the saw drones. Why not boss in 20 seconds? We're gonna get a few of those bonuses that Edna mentioned along the way as well. We'll get some extra points for collecting the four crates. And you know, you remember that I was talking about how I, I felt the 
uh, meta progression points were kind of expensive. If you can hit those bonuses, which until now I, I hadn't uh, been able to do, you know, that helps with that. All right, grab a quick sip there, and uh, we're going to get into it here. Let's go explosion defense. So we got a baddie on the scene officially, huh? Oh, rapid fire, that'll help. Oh, so he's in a car of his own. Ooh, rapid fire again. Let's keep him on the screen as long as we got rapid fire going, right? Although with this gun, it always feels like we've got rapid fire. Yeah, that legendary Magnesis is simply amazing. So as long as we can stay out of the way of his bigger attacks and the lasers and bullets being shot, of course the explodey dudes are back out here now. I think I think we're gonna have a good time. Uh, you know, we're also ganging health back at times as well. We're, we're looking good. His his health bar is officially red. We've hit the boss red health bar point in the evening. We're glad you're here with us. Celebrate the occasion. I mean, I'm kind of just using this circle pattern, and uh, it's it's working. I just got to save enough boost for when the red circle appears next to me so I can get the hell out of dodge. Okay. We're switching to a back and forth because we're just going to lean into this now. Hey, there we go. Good job, Earl. Their vehicle is ours now. Oh, that's cool. You unlocked the gray muscle car with machine gun. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay. Not bad. And now we can go to the dry desert biome. Who dares enter my sacred grounds? Oh, it's you. Edna, are you and Earl ready to join my followers? If not, turn back or perish. I have bad news. We aren't here to join your sheep. We are here to defile your cathedral of lies. Well, all right. Here's what I want to see, though. How many points did we end up with? I guess I've got to go into one of these to go to the shop. All right. Oh, so this one's got really nice dodge. Look at that. Speed and acceleration, too. So I guess armor takes a big hit, but dodge is looking good. Oh, wow. So I'm just realizing now that the upgrades go with the vehicle, which I guess makes sense because they're saying, hey, upgrade the car. So if we look at this, I'm a lot deeper into the tree. Very, very interesting, folks. So that's good for you to know that the meta progression is split across the vehicles. And I don't know about you, but the upgrades look very similar. So I guess if I was to go with 
this, I would just, you know, start by putting all the points into the defense given the you know, the lower starting amount there on the armor. Folks, this is a game called Earl versus the Space Mutants, and it is out now. This uh, released July 18th. I want to thank the dev for allowing us a chance to see it and show it off on the channel. Hopefully you had a good time. And uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to do this again sometime soon. We'll get together out here. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because, well, they're the greatest. That's why. And uh, we'll give away a video game at least once a week. We can do those because of you and your support. So thank you again for that. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll see you again real soon. Take care.